the jungle, home to nature's most dangerous game. No, not ping pong, survival. Survival of the fittest. This lion has razor sharp claws. This zebra has a fluffy tail. This lion is a merciless master of the hunt. This zebra is a... Okay, look, the zebra is pretty much lunch. Oh, here comes the good part. And what now, George? You can't carry that zebra around forever. Ape, no worry. George have idea to keep zebra safe. There, see? George smart like ape. And what about all of them? I no get zebras now. George, you can't just stuff zebras in a cave. Ape, right. Now, all animals safe. George, you really think that... Shh. George no a proud of George. <laughs> this is so annoying. What is it I forgot to do today? Create artificial life? Vacutron wants to live. No. Enslave all octopuses? No, I changed my mind about that. They give me the willies. <laughs> uh, I guess it wasn't that important. Oh, oh, Mom's birthday is today? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I'm hyperventilating. I need a present. Stat! Just think, Chicago. Think or you're dead! Perfume? Flowers? Oh, wait! Those are perfect! Two metric tons of flowers and a few hundred thousand stuffed animals should mean I'm safe for another year! Just add in same day shipping and. How much? I don't have that kind of bank! A gift you make yourself is worth more than anything you could buy. I'll get the glue and macaroni. You don't understand. My mother is, let's just say you only ever forget her birthday once. How am I gonna get that kind of cash? Who knew stuffed animals were so expensive? I've got it. No, everyone isn't just invisible. Something's happened to all the jungle animals. Hmm, suspicious, don't you think? No, no, I suppose you don't. Okay, George, what's the plan? Dr. Chicago's a wily fellow. We can't just run in there and... Hey, Doctor, no do bad stuff, okay? Huh? Huh? Oh, hello, George. Sure, I'll stop the bad stuff. But you didn't say anything about bad stuffing. Cuspid! Yes? What's up? Blast him! George! What, ape? George busy. George? George! No need, yell. George right here. What? How? Why? <laughs> if you had a mother like mine, you'd transform all the jungle animals into stuffed versions and sell them online, too. George, stop you! Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> to be the cutest thing I've ever seen! From a purely scientific standpoint, of course. Hey, put George down! George not toy or joke! <laughs> <laughs> that funniest thing huh? Ursula ever see! <laughs> hey, George still king! George still strong! See? Aww. Ursula, Magnolia, please, we need your help to stop Dr. Chicago. Now, George, this time we can just... Hey, Doctor, now really no do bad stuff. Wow. 
Wow! I didn't think you'd just try the same thing again. I mean, really. Does he ever stop and think? Well, he'll have lots of time to think on his way to Japan! Japan? Now? Ha! If I did, how would you help me ship all these animals? And then I wouldn't make my money, and my mother wouldn't get her birthday gifts, and she'd launch the... Look! Just get to the shipping! We'll never help you! Airmail the Crown Freight. Me, George! Me have to get back to jungle! Aseto jungle no nyuga suru. Hey! That looked like me! Kore yappa dabe da! Nisemon da! Okay, George. Now you have time to make big things and stop Dr. Chicago. Okay, brain? Go! Hello, brain! George, say go! Report! <sighs> That's the last of the rhinos. And the only giraffes left are the weird ones. <gasps> hey! Stop! It's not snack time! <laughs> Stuffy animals taste bad! <laughs> uh, okay, people. Time to raid the D-list. Eight, nine, ten. Who buys stuffed rocks? And who buys ten of them? Meanwhile, for the first time in his life, George thinks. It's not like he's got anything else to do. George needs smart plan to save friends and jungle. Of course you say that, George. You nothing but talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Don't make George kick you out of box, George. <laughs> And there! George, you do it again! For first time! Ah, thanks, George! You smart thinker, too! What? Why are you stopping? That's it! Kaput! Done! You've shipped every animal, every bug, every rock! No, oh, that's too bad. Your mom's gonna be so mad you forgot her birthday. And you got so close. You're like three stuffed animals short. <laughs> How many? Are you dumb? I said. Oh, I'm the dumb one. What? Our first return? Huh. Ah, that tickled unexpectedly. Good news, George, back! Ah. <laughs> George, think of playing this time! George, draw it in box! Uh, what was I really expecting? Plan step one! Defeat Doctor! Get away from that! Cuspid! Hey! George don't finish playing inside here! And just like George, all over the world, the stuff-informed animals returned to normal. And then were returned to sender for a full refund. <laughs>
Animals back normal? Somehow destroying the ray guns reversed its effects because that makes sense. Nice thinking, George. Plan step two. Everyone, high five. Oh no. Oh no, no, no! I missed it! I missed Mom's birthday! We should probably... Cuspid! Activate anti-mom protocols Alpha through Epsilon! Turn out the lights! Turn on the lasers! Oh no! It's already too late! So, George, now that you're a big thinker, what do you think you're going to do next? Oh, George, give brain break. All this think stuff give George big headache. George not want break brain. George? Life in the jungle is a battle between life and death, survival and extinction. And between George and Ursula. Ah, that better. Monkeys, get along, okay? No! Monkeys, fight! Now! <laughs> George won't be good king and help jungle, but Ursula no let George. You must understand, George. Ursula believes that Mother Nature's way is the only way. Anything that interferes with nature is wrong. Would you put some sunscreen on my back? No! Um, that natural. Good work, George. Ah! <laughs> Ursula set river free. No, Ursula, wait! Ursula destroyed him, and Ursula destroyed Baby Sloth Valley. Ah! George tired of you making George's job big joke. <laughs> George's job is joke. Not funny. George challenged Ursula to sacred jungle battle. George, think about this. You've met Ursula, right? George, no. First one who look away, lose. No, George. That's a staring contest. Paper beats rock? That's rock, paper, scissors. Ursula counts to ten. George go hide behind tree. Hide and go seek. George hit Ursula and run away. Ah! Tag. George tell Ursula, go fish. That's go fish, George. Three X's in row. Tic-tac-toe. Wait, George got it. Patty cake. Okay, how about George clap, then Ursula. And so is that. It sure. Ah! Now we fight! What? Wait! May I suggest oh, a jungle vote? Oh, instead, oh, jungle vote! Oh, jungle vote! The sacred jungle vote, where important decisions are made by the will of the jungle. Time to count the votes. You're not allowed to vote for yourself, Ursula. The will of the jungle has spoken. George wins. Now, Ursula? Ah, Ursula know when she not wanted. Wow, Ursula know how to make exit. This can only mean one thing. She's gone to the dark heart of the jungle forever. It also means George free to help animals.
animals want much help today. George think baby animals want too much help. Yes, yes, without Ursula around, life in the jungle has certainly lost its edge. Can I ask you for a mani-pedi, or would that be weird? Ooh, yeah. Awkward. But George and Ape aren't the only ones who notice the jungle going from wild to mild. <laughs> Good catch, Tiger. Did you use your sleeper hold? Of course I did. Except I didn't, because this lazy rug was just lying there. Where's your fight gone, pussycat? Come on, bite me so I can show you what kind of a man I am. Savage me. Ah, this jungle's gone soft. Soft like that expensive toilet paper you insist on using. What's the use of hunting if you don't spend every moment staring savage death in its fiery eye? Oh, yes, I would agree completely, but people would pay big bucks to get this close to a lion. Hmm. Cash money, you mean? I do like its feel, its crinkly musk, the way it tucks into a waistband. Step right up and enter the world's first completely safe cageless zoo, where even Namby Pambies can take a pillow soft trip into the cushy heart of the jungle. Jungle get weak and lazy. Boulder Dash, we're as ferocious as ever. Maybe you have a point. George must show Jungle tough love. George make Jungle strong again. And when me say George, me mean Ursula. The journey to the dark heart of the jungle is perilous indeed. George must overcome many dangers to find Ursula. The River of Bats, the Banana Peel Road, the Itchy Nostril Caves. Yep, this looks like place. George traveled much distance to see Ursula. <laughs> Ursula, right? George helped too much. Animals go weak. Must make animals wild again. <laughs> George need Ursula help. Ah! Ah! Oh! Jungle animals need Ursula help. Ah! If Ursula come back, she get to beat up George every day. Fun, right? Wait, George realized jungle need George and Ursula. And George sorry. Ursula whip jungle into shape. Oh, I just had the worst dream. Oh, I dreamt I had my final math exam, but I wasn't wearing any. You soft. All right, you soft talent, dull toothed. Devenomed weaklings, those slashy pink things are people. And they taste amazing. People were put in this jungle to be eaten by you and you. Yes, and even you. Tonight, Ursula will teach you to be wild. Tonight, jungle get hair back on chest and on arms, on legs, and everywhere else for that matter. Go team Mother Nature. No! No use! No! Like this! George messed Jungle up! George just won help! One chance left! Call of Wild! If anything could remind the animals that they were, well, animals, it was Ursula's Call of the Wild. Tiger! Ursula! 
zoo! Yes, Weevil. Nature's reclaimed her savage roots, and her vengeance will be fierce, merciless, and swift, like it should be. What? Who wants to fight? You call that a haymaker, fancy wings? Ursula really makes jungle wild. But next time, maybe Ursula open with Howl, so we avoid montage. Now, George rescue tourists. Okay, tourists learn to rescue selves without George. It's beyond savage. Hold on, Abe. George, help. Helping Ape not count. <sighs> it's a beautiful morning in the jungle as its inhabitants wait to face another day of fighting for their very survival. Together. You're living the dream. Nothing like a life of a jungle scientist. Ah! Nope. Nope. No. -uh. Two weeks in a row. Oh. Ah! You can do this. You're tough. You're ready. You're a jungle scientist. You're Magnolia. Everything here hate me so much. Oh. Mmm. <gasps> Thank you, Patrick. Uh... Snake. No, I mean, you all belong in the jungle. I don't. I'm just a science geek in bad cargo shorts. Even the quicksand has it out for me. No, you part of jungle, just like us. Indeed. All you need is a little cheering up. What I need is to go back to my tent, have a cry, and write my resignation letter. Hey, right. We take you for super cheer up jungle fun trip. I really don't want to. Do it. How did you? Don't worry about that. We're here for fun. Cannonball! Wait! <laughs> that pot's full of piranha! <laughs> <laughs> it okay, Magnolia. Piranha, good pals. See, we all jungle friends. Well, okay then. Cannonball! <laughs> Oh, me 
forget they like foreign food. Mmm, <laughs> tasty lunch. Dig in, Magnolia. They're organic and free range. Have these ever been tested? I mean, how do you know if they're safe to eat? Um, oh, George eats some city with Tiny George. Mm, no problem. And we apes have enjoyed burger trees for generations. Okay. Mm, you guys are right. It's delicious. <laughs> how were you to know you were allergic? I should have guessed. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Some secret I'm not jungle enough to know? Yes, I mean, no. No, 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 no secret. We were just discussing what fun place to go next. Yes, come now, come. This is dumb. I should just go. <laughs> hey, wait, I've never been to this part of the jungle before. Hey, I, I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh, poop. Great! Just one more reason why I don't belong here. Even my so-called friends forgot about me. I'll go back to my tent and then back to the city. Which way is my tent? That way? Uh-oh. Oh, maybe through there. No, no, it it's gotta be past that tree. Huh. What's he looking at? And whatever it is, must be delicious. It's me, isn't it? I'm delicious. <laughs> okay, okay. I know we went south this morning, so my tent has to be north. Uh, okay, lucky compass. Don't fail me. No! No! North! North! How do I find north? And... You're a magnet! Why is my life so hard? There's gotta be a way across. Use those degrees, Magnolia. If I pluck a feather from that bird, it'll squawk and wake up that snake, which will push over that rock, which will roll or knock over that tree, then domino those trees and make a bridge across the chasm. Yes! I knew Jungle Physics 202 wasn't a waste! Either, buddy, but it's the only way. Where's your spleen? Yes! Ha! Take that! What you gonna do now, pussycat, huh? Fly! Just go log to log. You can do this. Oh my gosh, the teeth! How can I tell the logs from the crocodiles? Oh, I hate you, evolution! My piggies are so blistered, I bet I can feel the difference. Log, log, croc! Log, croc, croc, croc! Log, log! Because tigers never give up the hunt. They're jerks like that. Ape? You've been here the whole time, you fuzzy little... <laughs> what? Oh. Oh! I get it. This is where I go nuts from being alone and starving in a cave for a month. <laughs> oh. 
may be crazy only way survive. Thanks for nothing. I'm still stuck in this stupid cave. Not stupid. Smart. You smart to hide in here. Except you not notice jungle vending machine. That's kind of dumb. Magnolia's smart about science and jungle. So use brain thinky thing one more time to beat Tiger. We believe in you. What do you know? You're just a pile of <laughs> rotten coconuts. But maybe, maybe you're right. What kind of jungle scientist would I be if I let this jungle beat me? Time, baby. Jungle science rules. Whoa, that's not. <laughs> yes, I win. I win. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, that. What? We wanted to surprise you with a little celebration of your jungle anniversary. But you forgot me in the jungle. We just needed a little time to set up your surprise party. I was lost for six months. Yeah, we think that's strange too, especially since we only lose you over there. And left you a map, food, and an arrow pointing this way. But wow! You survive alone for six months? You as jungle as us for sure. <laughs> Let's put that to the test. But run! <laughs> George may be king of the jungle, but he's definitely not king of ideas. What's wrong, George? <sighs> George needs stop jerk eagle from eating cute meerkats. Every time George turn away, Eagle... Hey, Dirt Eagle! what George do to save meerkats? Remember when those jungle pigeons wouldn't stay off my tent? I made a scarecrow to keep them away. If anything, more pigeons came to laugh at it. So whatever you do, don't do... Hey! George C! Oh, you didn't hear what I... Ta-da! Good idea, Magnolia. <laughs> George not know how you do it. Is that how you see me? <laughs> Ursula, George need help. How George get baby lever across river and home to family? Duh, use canoe or raft or bridge. Ah, <laughs> good idea, Ursula. Um, which one? Thank you, Ursula. Uh, hello? What George do now? George, you can't rely on other people for ideas. You need to come up with them yourself. Ah. Huh? George, an antelope is stranded on that high ledge. <gasps> antelope in danger! Indeed. Quick, what do you do? Um, uh, George escaped for idea. But I've been eaten by a crocodile. What? <laughs> George cried because he missed eight. But the antelope still needs your help. George. Yes? Ask Ursula. Oh, you can't. She's returned to her home planet. <laughs> George's world collapsed. What if there's no one to ask? What if you have to come up with an idea by yourself? Now you never leave George, and he always has someone to ask what to do. George, you're missing the point. <laughs> Ursula Matt, take it out on Magnolia! What? Why? Why? <laughs> George want to help Magnolia, but George lousy at ideas. Apparently so, though I've never noticed it in any other episode. Hmm. 
What a coincidence! This is an idea rock. If you find yourself wondering what to do, just ask it for ideas. Oh. Idea rock have name? Um, sure. It's Presley. Okay. Hey, Presley, what George do? Ooh, Presley's smart. He say, whoa! <laughs> Yes, that's a good idea. I'll do that. Um, Ape okay? Ape's fine. He just has a bunch of to-dos. To-do. Ape! Ape! Oh! <laughs> um, what Ape doing? Maybe George help? Doing? I'm not doing anything. With that, Presley? Yep. Ape definitely doing something. Relax, George. Slow down. Grab a tree and dangle. Yeah. You should hang upside down for a while. It's so amazing. Magnolia, why you hate Treehouse, too? We no hate Treehouse. We no hate anything. Ursula, you no angry. Ursula never angry, see? Big smile, yay! No thanks, Presley, me not thirsty. George need to get to bottom of strange mystery. George said he not thirsty. Fine, you very pushy for rock. Sloth on shoulder! Look through glassy backwash! Mmm. Thank you, God. Delicious. See you later. We have to bounce. What George do? Presley, George needs save friends idea real bad. Okay, if Presley insist. <laughs> Where they go with invisible shoulder slots? What they building? Ooh, that good question too, Presley. <gasps> Holy rock bananas! <laughs> Excellent, my sloth chums. Soon we shall dominate this planet like we dominate afternoon naps. Okay, Presley. George hazy on details, but bit about Earth domination sound bad. What? Where? George, stop, evil sloth! But how? Uh, you sure, Presley? Okay, if you say so. Whoa! Yeah, great idea, Presley! <laughs> oh, man! Where's my dynamite? Where to go? George, never tell. Oh, no! Now you've done it! We're doomed! Game over, man! Right! George and Presley save Earth from evil slobs! No, man! When I say we're doomed, I mean you and me, not them! I was trying to stop all this. Uh, George and Presley no understand. You do flashback? <sighs> Fine. My name is Slothocles. And like all sloths, I'm not from your world. We sloths come from another slower dimension, man. I arrived here many years ago with a sloth scout team. We were sent to discover your weaknesses, but instead fell in love with your world. Specifically, your fudge. This is the only dimension that contains the glory that is fudge, man. Instead of completing our mission, we decided to make Earth our new home. I hope the rest of our evil race would forget about us. But that was not meant to be. My people have enslaved your friends with their sloth powers of suggestion. Wait, how come evil sloth's invisible and you not? We sloths use an advanced mind-phasing technique to turn invisible at will. But I'm too lazy. Oh, and it's easily neutralized by backwash. This is also the only dimension with backwash technology, man. Um, George, could I borrow those goggles? 
It'll just make things easier for everyone. Sure thing, Sky Voice. Much better. That's a time break. When it's yanked, it'll slow time to match the sloth dimension. Then sloths will be the fastest things on this planet, man. When the sloth army comes through the portal, we'll subdue this world in the blink of an eye. I was gonna blow that thing sky high, but someone ate my explosives. Presley, how to save everyone? George, neat idea, quick. Hmm, uh-huh. Oh yeah, oh I see. Okay, sure hope it worked. Good luck. George really hoping that do it. Yes! Get him! Get him! Get him. <laughs> Presley, what plan B? George, watch out for the <laughs> sloth! I am the sloth commander, but you may call me Peanut. Listen and do my bidding, ape man. You are powerless to resist. Whatever Peanut say, George do. <sighs> there goes the neighborhood, man. The whole dimension, really. Who better to pull the time break than the king of the jungle? This planet is ours. No. No. George, make own idea. That's likely. You failed at it this entire episode. Yes! What? <laughs> Wind blow you off! You have to go into hyperspeed to knock me loose. Look out! George, free! Get him! Get him! Must stop him! Get him! Must stop if slots want time to slow down, maybe better idea <gasps> to speed up! Where did all these slots come from? No! My invasion! Cheer up! Have some fun! Mmm, this is really good. I know, right? Now get lost! No! I want more fun! George! You single-handedly saved us from sloth domination. I knew you had good ideas. Ah, uh, George not do much. Sloth McLees and Presley have all good ideas. All I did was ask you to stop them. And Presley is just a stone. I only pretended it was an idea rock to boost your confidence. George learned important lesson today. He learned, uh, oh, hold on. Uh, George get it. Um, uh, water wet? No, George learned that yesterday. Um, ooh, fire hot! Huh. No. Maybe I should find a planet where I'm more appreciated. 